The next feature I'm going to talk about is server and system monitoring. This is a very powerful feature for, for a couple reasons. Let me actually go into a server that I've spun up. It's a virtual server, but this will work for virtual or physical servers. So here is a Microsoft Windows Server 2012 uh, R2 standard um, system. And I have the ability to set different procedures um, to uh, run certain conditions that will give me alerts and really keep a pulse on this server. Let me explain. If I go over to my profile section, um, I have a specific profile set up called monitoring. And then in here, I have the ability to push out different procedures, but also the ability to do monitoring. So I have a specific monitoring um, uh, execution set up. And in here, I have the ability to define the different types of conditions. So why is this so powerful here? Let me show you the different types of conditions you can have. Performance, file size, folder size, disk size, service process, event, uh, TCP, ping. You can even do URL um, alerts. When a specific device will hit certain URLs, you can get alerted. Now, where, where this comes in really handy, though, is let's say that you know your, you know your environment well. This is going to take away any false positives because you, as the IT director, set up the parameters for your servers, for your data center. I want you to consider this as a 24-7 a virtual assistant that constantly has a pulse on your servers or your systems too. We could put this on workstation systems or servers. But let's say there's something wrong if over a 20-minute period, the, the CPU usage is over 95% of its max capacity um, for a continual length of time. Um, that might even merit a service call in a Dell. And you can choose the parameters yourself. You know, if you go into RAM or network usage or processes, these are great ways to help be proactive in pinpointing problems before they get out of hand. So let's just say I press update, I press save. So now that particular um, that particular condition uh, is set up to run on that AWS server that I just talked about. And what's really neat about this, though, I'm going to share another screen with you. Okay, I just showed this. And... This is the, to me, the big wow factor with this particular feature. You get fired off an email from this virtual assistant, this 24 seven virtual assistant, um, who is constantly having a pulse on your, your data center, telling you what, um, what's happening. And if anything is getting out of hand based on the parameters you set up. So take a look at this. Uh, I have, a specific monitoring profile set up for the, this particular Windows 2012 server. And it gives me the serial number, which is really important, and some other information about the device, as well as uh, the actual uh, threshold that it passed. But when it comes to your environment at a school district, you also have the ability to put in there the the Dell, HP, Lenovo, Apple support number. Now, that's amazing because think about it. Instead of having to um, go to, if you have a larger school district or a larger you know, university with multiple sites, um, if there's a troubled machine, you can't even call Dell support or, or HP support until you have that serial number or the service tag. So this system, fires off automatically right to the palm of your hand, right to your smartphone. If you have email on your smartphone, 
all that information and we can put the actual Dell service number or the HP like uh, customer support number right in there too. So one click, you call them and immediately what's the first question they're going to ask? They're going to say, um, well, what's, what's the serial number? And you have that right in front of you. So that is powerful because if you have a, um, let's say you have an environment where you're overseeing 10,000 machines. And let's say that on average over a, a normal school year, you have, you know, 5% that you need to attend to, 500 machines. You just saved yourself 500 trips, you know, back and forth. There are 500 phone calls, you know, to the teacher, the student, the local tech at that site. And what's the serial number? And then, ha you know, having to either email it back to you manually or leave a voicemail for you, it could get way out of hand, right? So this saves a lot of time and money for you because instantly, proactively, this 24-7 virtual assistant is firing off a email to you with all the information on the device and where there might be a potential issue. Um, you know, if it, it just keeps on getting hung up at 100% CPU usage for over 20 minutes, I mean, there's something wrong. And you'll have the serial number and also that customer support number. Very powerful. And we can do it for multiple, if you have a mixed environment with multiple different um, manufacturers, we could put all the customer support numbers in there. So that is cool.